they're a gray square inscribed in a circle. Area is equal to 100. A blue square inscribed between gray square and the circle. So what is the area of this blue square? At first let's check this problem. The circle and two squares. All are axisymmetric diagram. They are inscribed together. Must be have a common axis of symmetry. Draw a vertical line through the center point of the circle. Say the center point of the circle is O. We can get the axis of symmetry divides the two sides of the gray square into equal halves. will also be small square. The two sides are divided into equal halves. Then, let's mark the points on the diagram. Connect PB. And then connect CP. We can get the PA over AB is equal to 1 over 2. PD over DC is also equal to 1 over 2. Angle PAB equal to angle PDC. All are right angles. So we can get triangles PAB is similar to triangular PDC. We get angle APB and angle CPD is equal. So we get angle BPA is equal to 180 degrees. Three points P, B, and C are collinear. Connect segment EB. These two angles have a common arc of BD. So these two angles are equal. Let's say the angle is alpha. Tangent alpha is equal to one half. So we can get AB over AE that's equal to one half. Say segment PA is one unit. We can get AB is equal to two units. A is equal to 4 units. We can figure it out. ED is equal to 10 units. Let's go back to the problem. The area of the blue square. Over the area of the gray square. Equal to the ratio of the squared value of their sides. 
it's equal to AB squared over ED squared. That's 4 over 100. And the gray area is equal to 100. We can get the area of the blue square is equal to 4. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed my channel. Turn the little bell on so you won't miss my future videos. See you next time.